the video soon. Okay, I'm gonna start the share screen. Do you see my screen? Do you see my screen? Yes, we see your screen. Okay, Vera Advarim, an explanation of what we're learning about. You do it's really known, Leah's the curtainous Arab, because the clothes of leather that God made for Adam and Chava, Adam and Chava uh, in Gan Eden. Um, and basically, it's, it's these actual clothes. Um, everybody has these clothes. Hamal Bashinikra Hashmal is basically uh, made out of um, Hertz. You know, Hertz is a sound. No, Hertz is also uh, um, radio waves and then light waves, but on a very, on a, on a slower level, it's, it's, it's sound. So it's a, some sort of coding of sound, which is called Hashmal, the quiet talk. And it, it actually has a certain tangibility to it, like a metaphor that teaches us a lesson. So to the Hashmal that speaks silently. And this is the clothes which God made for Adam and Chava, but it really is for all of us. Because we all have this capability of of a of a whisper that that some a mind whispers to us to guide us what to do. So this is related to the idea of of making a very concrete metaphor till a child can understand. And this is the whole idea of nega. Shnega means light. Um, just like light that shines in darkness. In other words, that this, this, this quiet speaking is basically a light for a person to guide him which way to go, because that's what a light does. It got light at nighttime guides a person which to which way to go. So it's a little bit of an, a sound. And those also. So it's the idea of a light in the darkness. In other words, this light is more important to us than a light that shines in a place of light, because we don't need that light. But a little light in a lot of darkness is very impactful. And that's what Nega is all about. It says a candle in broad daylight. What, what do you need? You know, what does it help anybody? But a light of a candle in, in total pitch darkness, and it's really dark, that light. May, shines a lot because it shines up the darkness and the and the uh, davka. It's like you cannot say that a candle when it when it's when it's lit up at night that it shines up more than the day. The only reason it's not lighter, but because the darkness is its opposite, and therefore um, you can you you actually recognize the light much more. This is not a, a real light, a real um, advantage of light. In other words, it's not it's, it doesn't have more power, candlelight power. That the lumens, right? Doesn't have more lumens. It's just that the, the, the experience of the person seeing the light, it, it, he experiences it as a lot of lumens. Because the, in the contrast to that, the, the light has a lot of value. To the eye of the beholder, the seer, only to the seer. It doesn't have more lumens. 
ויש מצויה בגסס החמר, שהוא בוהר יסר, משהו מצויה בחמר זך בוהר. This is the same idea as using another metaphor. When you have the light of a very good stone, when it's surrounded by a dark matter around it, so that it's, it seems much lighter, it seems much lighter than if it would have, would be surrounded by glass, by something that's see-through and, and, and lighting. In other words, you don't appreciate a diamond on glass, but you appreciate the diamond more when it has a black velvet background. So that's, that's the idea of Neuge. Neuge doesn't shine more. It's just that when it's put into a, a, a background, it's more, we appreciate it more. Kulu, Mitam said, because of this reason, because of the contrast. Now he's bringing a third example of the whole thing. So the first example was a candle in darkness. The second example is a diamond on a velvet background and not a glass background. The third example is the idea of using extreme concrete uh, metaphor, which is a very tangible, which was gas. Gas means it's like full of gas. It's very tangible. However, because of that, the, the message becomes extremely uh, understandable. The, the message is delivered better with a more concrete metaphor. So that's the third, third, um, you know, third way we're presenting the idea of Neuga. And we're saying Neuga is Chashmal. Neuga is related to Chashmal. The whisper is related to Neuga. And now we can understand what the Hebrew word Neuga means. It has two meanings. So the first one is sorry, the idea of light. Another time we see this Hebrew word being used is Yagia Khashki. It will basically light up my darkness. The Kahai Governor and similar ways of using the same word. The second way the word Naga is used is used as something that protrudes out. Like a person goes out of the out of the path. Somebody who Hashem who enunciates God's name, and he's using the word Haga, so enunciate, stick out. So we're saying that the fact that Naga means light, Naga means stick out. Same words as logic. As in Israel, they say hegyoni makes sense. Is it logical? Logic in the thoughts. So, so here's an interesting thing. I, 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 I used to think that when it says you should work in Torah, toil in Torah by day and by night, It's not the word yagaiti. It's not the same word as working hard. Vagisa b'yom avalayla is the same word as the higayin, which is logic. You should logic it by day and night. Use your logic day and night when you learn Torah. But it really means to stick out in your head. Basically, it should be, you should be thinking about this. In other words, it should be, you should be paying attention to this. It should be sticking out in your mind. And that's what logic is. And also the logic of my heart. And what do we, we mean logic? We mean by something sticking out, on, something's on my heart. And these two explanations of Nego, whether it means light 
or whether it means to stick out, they really are going the kana echad in one pipe. They really, they really point to the same definition, to one, one idea. But look, I'm sorry, not look kana, but kavana echad with one intention. They go, they really have both. Both definitions have one intention. From Meshigotam Makamach, as explained in another place, on Derech Dugma. For example, Mer Hashem Hashem Mer Be'Anan Be'Ayre Muchbal Sham. Like uh, sunlight that shines in a in, in a cloud, that what happens is there's a reflection in the water, and the, the light of the cloud it basically doubles over there. Nikarer Fusham Yeser, and the light is extremely seen over there. Mishenikar Gufa Hashem Meshatzmei more than it's on the on the light itself. Now, I'm let let let's explain this because it's very well understood. When you go to one of these music, uh, you know, Avram Fried concerts, and they they start these laser guys start you know putting laser decorations, you wouldn't be able to see the laser beams unless they made smoke. They're actually producing smoke. And then you can see the laser beams, the wonderful laser beams. The light is recognizable. So that's what he's saying. The beams of light of the sun, it's you don't see them on the sun itself, but when it hits the clouds, you see those beautiful rays. Because the cloud is so refined. Shebahar Kovas Chelke Amayim in the various, you know, parts of the water, Shebahar in it in the cloud, Yukar Shema Er Bechol Prate Chalokov. You can actually see it actually reflects, reflects with refraction, refracts the light into different colors. But yes, sir. To make gimel kavne keshes like the three primary colors of the of a rainbow, shnikra mare, which is called a mirror. Well, mare hanoiga. No, the the the, the seeing the noiga. So when the light of the sun, you don't see the various colors in the sun itself. It's only when it hits the cloud, the water refracts and divides up the cloud. And you see more what was in the light than you do see on the sun itself. You see a rainbow. And this is what's called Maraha Naga, the light of the Naga. Like it's written, Kamara Akeshis, like the sign, like this, like the vision of the of the uh, bow. Keshis is a bow. We mean the rainbow. Pull up. Cain Mara Nega, so is the Mara of Nega. That's what Nega is. So we're seeing Hashmal, which is the silent, this this the 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 the, the whisper that a person has in their mind. And Nega, light, and something that's sticking out is all one idea. There's a dollar over there. I don't know what that's for. For example, the the various different colors in a good stone. Uh, the 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 It's placed on some sort of um, matter. And he's saying something different than before. This time he's saying that if you actually put it into something um, clear, the, the light can actually go through better. So if you put a, a, a certain stone on something clear, the light's going to go through better. 
different than what he was saying before. But saying who inyan habeis the pirush nega, and similarly the second explanation of nega, which means shuinyan ablita, the idea of sticking out the geshem zach and some and so on shenizkach tzas sham bolat that you're using a frame frame already. It's not like black velvet. It has some sort of it's already been refined. It's a refined frame. So over there, it's bullet v'hagayer. So the light will stick out. The idea of he will light up my darkness, Tafka specifically, specifically in the darkness. The idea of logic is also the idea of sticking out in the brain. It's the same word as nega. The intellect sticks out. That's why logic, that's the definition of what logic means. Logic means something is sticking out in your head. With physical wordsmithing, physical words, that you're thinking the machshava and your thought. That's when it's recognizable and it's understood. The depth of the intellect, much more. And this is what it means. You should work hard in it. No, it doesn't mean we work hard on it. You should make the intellect stick out in your head in Tyra. By day and by night. This is the same idea as the idea of metaphor. Because metaphor makes the um, the lesson stick out. The intellectual lesson sticks out very much. Now we're starting to understand what does it mean you have the 10 spheres of Atsilas and what does it mean Naga? What does it mean, Naga? We're starting to get an appreciation. What does it mean, Naga? Naga is actually a tool to bring out Babish to more. Bechlal. So what is the union of the Oshu? What's the idea of Naga? Naga means that something is tangible, something is recognizable, something sticks out. Like it explained in another place, so it could be also a bad thing. Because a person who considers himself um, wise in his own, own eyes, that's not a good thing. A man who considers himself smarter than everybody else. I am a wise man. And um, there is a story in Chumash that somebody had a pilegesh. A pilegesh is like a, uh, like a, it's not a full wife, it's a concubine. And in, in the in the ancient culture cultures, there were, were full wives, and then there's the concubines, like part of the the and and this and and this woman, and he had this concubine, and the terror uses her her name Ruuma. Now, anybody mentioned Chumash, obviously it's very holy ideas, very high spiritual kabbalistic ideas. Of course, they were physical people as well. So what she was saying, ma means what? Ma means I am like nullified to God. Ru'u ma means look everybody, I am nullified to God. Look everybody, I am praying. Look everybody, I am learning Torah. I am so holy. Right? So she was walking around and she was saying, look how good I am. Ru'u ma, look how bottle I am to God. The problem is, is that it's centered on the self. She's sticking out. So it's not holy, it's actually Naga. 
it's not Kedusha, it's actually Naya, because you're doing a good thing. You're doing a good thing by praying and by learning. Definitely you're doing a good thing, but you're doing it in order to stick out. That you should show yourself in front of other people how great you are. So it's like, it's bittersweet. Look, everybody, look that I'm so nullified to God. And also, excitement in divinity that attracts attention. It's very felt. It's very, it attracts a lot of attention. That's not a good thing that you're attracting attention to yourself and making yourself the center of the party. Because you're the center should be outside of yourself. So if you're doing a good thing, but your center is it's, it's divinity, it's, it's God, but I am the center. So that makes it bittersweet. It makes it naga, but it's not, it's not really the situation that should be. And this behavior also is associated with the idea of the source of the idea of the chashmal, of the, of the whisper. And the whisper is made from the Sabina from the external aspects of comprehension. Like, it's basically the Bina creates a policy. And then it articulates that policy as a whisper in the mind in order to guide the person. And by the way, from the Chitanias Habina, from this external aspect of Bina, Shemizen Nasa Bechina Sakafnaim, that actually is the spiritual source of wings. He, he, uh, he flies on the, um, on the birds, on the, on the, on the chicks, the, the eagle flies on the chicks. So the idea of wings stems for the idea of an external policy of, 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 of comprehension. So it's the idea of Ema precious. It's the mother, which is mother is a code name for Bina. Parish Gadfa spreads her wings. The Nikra and this is called the wings of the Shechina. The wings of the Shechina are the, uh, are the source of the souls of the converts. You know, it's known by, we've mentioned this before, that when there was a, a lady that was extremely beautiful and she worked as a prostitute. And Rachav. And it was a time of the when of Yeshua was going, we're taking everybody to Eretz Yisrael. She lived in Yericha. He spent she she uh, Yeshua sent um, sent spies. They went to a house. She protected them. She wanted to do tshuva. She just requested that just save my family. And she understood that she basically said she's going to convert to Judaism. And obviously she was extremely well knowledge in spirituality. And she said, you should give me um, one letter, which, which is the, the, the Vav, which is, Vav is like a, a pillar letter. And essentially what she was asking is, I know that the souls of the Gerim come from the wings of the Shechina, but in the merit of saving your lives, she she hid these to to um, to, to spies of Yeshua. It says in the merit of saving uh, your lives, I want to get a neshama from the central line, from the vav, from Tiferes. I'm just pointing that out, that you have some gerim that are under Kanfi Ashkena that come under the wings of the Shechina. But Rachav wanted in the merit of saving 
these Jews' lives, that she should get a neshama from the center, center line, Tiferes. Kanfeashchina would be the 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 hashmal of 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 bina, the chitzet external aspect of bina, but she wanted she wanted to get a central central soul. Zeu gamke ninian maimer azayar. This is also the meaning of the what the zayar says. Al apostle bakar arech lachav atzaper. In the morning, I will I don't know arech lachav. I will set up for you like my prayers. And Vatsapa, I will look forward. David Iskin, this was this was David Amalach. Iskin, he instituted a high chupa. He instituted a a wedding cap canopy, lachafa, to cover up the bucket the Yosef, the the uh, cattle of Yosef. Vaavid Nehora, and he made light lalbasha to. See, this is all code. It's all code. He made, he made light, la albasha to clove, ad inun the akrin kafnini line, until to those that are called higher wings. The Mishnah Gospel Bureau of Makamachek. The explanation of this is explained in another place. I mean, literally, this is code. I don't know the meaning. I don't know. But I get that there's the themes going on over here. There's themes happening. So what happens is that these noiga comes in different qualities. Some things are good, some things are not so good. And if you like keep on stacking the noiga, so it eventually could become a a, a like a curtain that separates. Shnika parsha shemavsek mavdul it becomes a curtain that separates ben atzilus lebria between the world of atzilus, which is the world of divinity, and the world of divine thought, which is the world of bria. But malchus bekei mesach, but there's always a there's always a breakthrough, breaking the firewall. I mean, the uh, in computer language, it's a firewall. The firewall. Wall, is supposed to monitor the traffic that's going and that's loud in and out. That's what a firewall does in in the computer world. So this is the similar idea of the curtain, which basically stops certain traffic, stops the certain most of the divine energy, and just allows certain things through that wall. So one of the things is is the malchus, the expression of God, bokeh mesach, that gets through, that gets through. as I as I'm going to explain, I wonder how much more. Okay, I'm going to continue. Now, when Reb Meir wrote in his sefer Torah, instead of writing an ayin, which means leather clothes, he wrote light clothes. Made out of light, in other words, candle light clothes. He, his terror was also kosher, but it's referring to these clothes, this phenomenon, which has negative, positive, and negative aspects to it. However, after the tikkun, after um, we've sort of put effort to not throw the baby out with the ba bath water. But when we've taken what's valuable, we've taken the baby, that's called Acha Tikkun. We've taken what's valuable, the valuable lessons from the Nega. So what Nega remains is something really good, really, really light, light enlightening. Ubirur the Bechinas Nega. When we clear out the good things from Nega, the Hashmal, this quiet um, whisper, a lot of things that, that the brain whispers, you know, like you you tell you, <laughs> you know, you brought up and and this the voice of the mother is telling you things, and then you realize, well, this is not really not really right, right? You get rid of the bad ones. So how do we how do we clear up what is good from Nega and how is not good from Nega? How who are you de We have to have we have to nullify ourselves to God and think like what does he want? What does he want? That's Bittel. 
Ha'at midama. It's that bittel that when you say, it's not about what I want, it's about what God wants. It's ma, the real bittel. What am I? Ha'chadash da'ak. The new one we spoke about last week, two weeks ago. Ha'chadash, the new of Adam Kadmin. Adam Kadmin, we've always been saying that Adam Kadmin is when God creates the, the, the character of Adam. And the character of Adam shines this, this intuitive knowledge of right and wrong, this intuitive um, direction. It just is this shema that it breaks through, breaks through and separates the baby from the bathwater in Nega. Share that, that that is the, the beginning of Tikkun Kanal. It can take this um that sticks out and make it something totally nullified to divinity. Because when the ego when the ego realizes that it really needs to be intangible, so that is an actual greater thing it becomes a a uh, and and it's it's going to get those properties of of nullification of the the word of god the name of god of ma shabahakhma which is in the inside shamavara and b- 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 inside does differentiate inside has the power to differentiate between good and bad and what's valuable and not valuable one and then the baby and the bath water commission explained explained another place that's why Rabbi Mer called the clothes that God created it's really clothes of light because ego when it's transformed it is a higher level of nullification we always, we say uh, when we put on the talus, we say God puts on light like a garment. the the light of Torah. When Torah has the aspect of it's refined by this ma, ma means like what? It it it. it a person is ready to break out of their boundaries. That's the bittle of Mar. When a person's comfortable in their boundaries, that's a good thing. But they don't want to, when they don't want to go out of their boundaries, they're sort of stuck in their ways. That's a lack of birudama. Because they're too defined. Their definition is too defined. You need some ma, which is a little bit of what. Ma means what. It's it's like water. I'm not defined. I'm able to redefine myself. I'm able to go out of myself and redefine myself. That's the birudama. When I'm backing around uh, up the wrong tree, I'm able to redefine myself. The Hachmeila, it's the insight, the higher insight, Shemavar Lebechina Saban, that really it refines the idea of Ban. Ban is more the animalistic aspect, the Naga of this Naga of sticking out. Everybody wants to have their, their, um, their ego, they, they don't want to be erased, right? But, but really a higher level of being is, is the idea of being fluid. And when the ego learns how to become fluid, it becomes even greater than the, than the teacher of the, of the nullification. It actually, it actually becomes better than the teacher. Ban is the idea of ego, ma is the idea of be fluid. So when ban learns from ma how to be fluid and how to not be stuck in one's ego, so it, it goes to a higher level. It goes to sag. It's, and sag, 
I'm not going to explain what ban ma and or, or the whole the whole thing again because we've explained it many times. But sag, which is bina, if you read it backwards, shulbechinas gas, it really means full of gas. When somebody's full of gas, when somebody's full of it, so then that's where the miscommunication of the divinity, the misunderstanding, shvira means break, misunderstanding happens. And what happens is when the, when the miscommunication happens, what do you mean miscommunication? God is speaking. The world is God speaking. And we don't know how to read, because if we knew how to read, that would be called prophecy. We would be just reading everything that's going on when the trees, the, 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 the birds moving and everything, everything moving. That's all God speaking. But we don't know how to read that, because if we did, that would be called prophecy. So what happens? That miscommunication causes called a shvira. We that a mis, it, it, we we don't understand what God is saying to us, and what happens is egos become created. It's almost like there's a trauma, and the egos get created from the trauma. However, when the ban, so there's the the, the gas. Because a person's full of gas, they become a bun, just like an animal. What an animal wants to do is what they want to protect their, their uh, ego. A healthy animal wants to protect their own ego, their own existence, self-preservation. The problem is that a person is, is self, is focused on the self. But they need to learn how to redefine themselves and focus outside of themselves. And that's what ma, name of God called ma, which means what? To redefine yourself. Don't be so set in your ways. Then it goes back up to sag and even gets greater. So in other words, the ego becomes a, even a greater um, expression of nullification to God. Shalomad Meshay Ma, etc. It becomes higher than the word of ma. Vinikrazir ir la. So when the noiga becomes elevated, it becomes a higher light. Very shiny light when it's put on in a um, oh, 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 oh. So this time, so the first time is you put the, you put the stone on black velvet. But this time, we're putting the glass in a very clear, high quality sniper scope. It's very clear. In other words, you're able to see much clearer, further away. Which is the opposite of the idea of Naga originally. Or Naga originally, it's it's blocking the light. But Naga refined when it goes for its transformation becomes something that allows you to see further. So what happens at the beginning? It's the light in darkness. And the light is not more light. It's just that it's fighting the darkness. And that's why we appreciate it. And it looks like it's shining, but it's not shining, really shining. But the end, once it goes through this whole transformational process, then it actually shines more. In other words, shining that the light itself shines more. Yes, like very clear uh, glass that's used in a sniper uh, scope. Dinahara is spectacular, spectacles. It's a spectacle of Nahara of light. Kai Gavna and similar 
ideas of understanding this, uh, of this idea. This is called the higher light. Through this, the souls will be able to see the light of the divine presence, will be able to see what God is saying because they're going to have uh, visual equipment, optics. The fact that they're developing better optics nowadays is a sign that of, in, on the spiritual levels that Neuga is, being, is becoming an optic. I'm just saying myself. I'm just, that's my interpretation. Better optics, you said? Optics as an optical things? Yeah. They keep on developing better sniper optics in the last few years. Everybody's creating better, better optics. The, 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 the better optics are becoming revealed because in a spiritual sense, Neuga is becoming revealed that Neuga is actually going to um, be a, a, a greater shiner. Like it's written in another place. And what we've said is enough for understanding people. It's important to read this over. It's important to go over, read over, make sure you understand every word, read it twice, read it three times, teach it to somebody. That's the only way to know it. I want to echo that, Rabbi Herrick, last uh, Friday morning, I was able to have the opportunity to read over the, learn over this chapter before davening, before the morning prayers, and um, very much appreciated the opportunity to do that, and, and I want to just encourage everyone to watch this video again. It's really, really, uh, really, really helpful. It's very practical. Yeah. Thank you. Someone wrote um, an email to me I just received uh, just before the shear started. Rabbi Smith, last week, Rabbi Hirik, or should I say the Gate of Unity, blew my mind because it was fitting with what Hashem is showing me. I hope that Rabbi could go a little longer on that chapter because I was he was getting distracted, I think, with the computer issues. Last year we had some some delays. Um but uh, so just just to know that people are really paying attention and and want to uh, want to hear what uh, the Mitle Rabbi has to say and what Chassidus has to say. Right, right. So I, I was I was I was thinking what the um, what the uh, it's it, it's interesting that the. I don't know how to say it without saying it, but those people that have like a certain religion and, and they call it, call it um, you know, the bearer of light and they happen to have a lot of political um, or, um, political weight, the people of that religion. And, you know, what we've been t teaching now is the real, is the real nega, the real, um, the, the, you know, the real explanation of, of how nega can be really elevated in, 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 in the right way, in the proper way, and how ego can be guided in the right direction that it should, that ego should actually become uh, really, really shining. Right. Well, the ego is only a byproduct of a misunderstanding. Of a misunderstanding. And through the misunderstanding, through being guided, then the ego becomes even a greater uh shine uh of nullification to, to divinity through this whole process beautiful thank you could you do, do let's see here oh i am the host okay let's stop the uh let's stop it i'm gonna i'm gonna log in with a different machine okay